let us try to understand how to draw the velocity diagram for the mechanism as shown over here so here oa is the crank which is rotating in the clockwise direction as shown in the animation this is ab is the oscillating link bc is also the oscillating link as shown in the animation this bd is also the oscillating link and d is the slider which is sliding along the straight line path okay? as it is shown in the animation also now we know that as oa is rotating in the clockwise direction velocity of a with respect to o will be perpendicular to the direction of rotation perpendicular to the thing perpendicular to the link and in the direction of rotation velocity of b with respect to a correct okay? neither a is fixed nor b is fixed so either we can say b with respect to a or velocity of a with respect to b and it is perpendicular to the link because it is the oscillating link similarly velocity of b with respect to c c is the fixed point so we have to compulsorily take velocity of b with respect to c because c is the fixed point and this link is also oscillating link and therefore velocity will be perpendicular to this particular link velocity of d with respect to b correct this is also the oscillating this is also oscillating link and therefore velocity will also be perpendicular to this particular link and as these two are the floating points so we can say either velocity of b with respect to d or d with respect to b but d is a slider which is sliding with respect to fixed point o or c of the mechanism and as it is sliding along the straight line horizontal line as shown in the animation therefore we can say that velocity will be parallel to the path of sliding and we don't know what is the direction of this so here only this particular oa is known in magnitude as well as in the direction so from the data which is given in the example which will be given in the example we can find out its velocity v is equal to r omega and calculating the velocity we can represent this vector by some suitable scale so in the space first take all these fixed points so o and c these are the fixed point in the space now we have to draw to a scale certain scale this particular vector that is vao out of this a and o o point is known so from o draw a line parallel to this particular vector representing velocity of a with respect to o now as we are finding out the velocity of a with respect to o arrow must be towards point a the second vector is velocity of b with respect to a whose magnitude and direction we don't know but out of this b and a a point is known so from a draw a line parallel to this particular vector as shown over here the next vector is velocity of b with respect to c out of this b and c c point is known to us so draw a line parallel to this particular vector from c wherever these two intersect that will be our point b because this particular is the intersection of v b a and v b c the common point is what it is b so point of intersection is b as shown over here then we'll go to the next vector so velocity of d with respect to b so out of this d and b point b point is known so from b point draw a line parallel to this particular line as shown over here and finally we are having this particular vector velocity of d with respect to o out of this d and o o point is known so from o draw a line parallel to this horizontal vector so this is the point of intersection that is d because v d b and v d o they are having point d in common between them now we have to give the directions now let's again go back to this particular first part so this is velocity of a with respect to o as we are calculating velocity of a with respect to o arrow must be towards a similarly over here also as we are calculating velocity of b with respect to a arrow must be towards b point here also as we are calculating velocity of b with respect to c the arrow must be towards b for this particular vector then here velocity of d with respect to b so arrow must be towards d and here we are finding out velocity of d with respect to o so arrow must be towards d so that we have shown in the next figure so all these vectors and their corresponding arrows we can show so now you can see velocity of b with respect to o, arrow must be towards b then velocity of b with respect to c 
arrow must be towards D. Then velocity of D with respect to B, arrow must be towards D. And velocity of D with respect to arrow must be towards D. So in this way, you can draw the velocity diagram for the complicated mechanisms.